Hey guys, welcome back. I am doing a requested video today, rounding up some of my top used Amazon home, specifically kitchen items. Um, I've been talking a lot about this, like things that I'm buying that are new for the house, but a few people have requested like things that I use in this house that I use all the time. So that's what I'm doing today. Everything's gonna be linked in the description bar below. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you're new. And we will get started with actually probably the product I've had the longest amount of time. I actually have two of these. They are so good. And I will say, I think everyone at this point has one of these. This is the, um, like Zule frother. I think it's actually, it's full. Like it might be a mini blender. I see them listed as all kinds of things on Amazon. Um, but this is a frother. It is very simple. Literally comes with a stand. That's it. <laughs> We use this for a few different reasons in our house. One, if like my husband is like mixing something that's like in a cup, you know, he'll use this. But I see a lot of people mention that this is what they use to put their powder collagen in their coffee. And I do always have to remind you guys, um, I've heard it sh like straight from an esthetician that powdered collagen actually loses a lot of its effects when you put it in something that's like a hot liquid. So if you're putting it in maybe a smoothie or something, which I do have something that will blend that in a second, I'll share it with you. Um, it doesn't like work as well. So definitely make sure you're putting it not in a hot liquid. So don't use this to blend your collagen into your coffee. Don't put it in your coffee. Just enjoy your morning coffee. But um, this I actually will use for just frothing milk. Now it doesn't make the milk hot, not warm, anything like that. But it's really nice also for mixing matcha. Um, lots of uses. So this is just the one that I've had probably for the longest and like an OG in my kitchen for sure. Now if you want something to mix your collagen into a smoothie or you want a really amazing smoothie maker. I mean, well, honestly, it's, it's for a lot of things, but I mainly use it for smoothies. The Ninja Blender, you are always going to hear me sing its praises. And the reason being is because of this right here. Now, I wanted to note that it does come with a full regular blending style, like, uh, let's see, nine cup pitcher. And it has a really great top to it um, that's very, very sturdy. It also has a pour spout over here. I mean, this is not flimsy. It's very well made. I've been very impressed with this. But even when I make smoothies, I don't, like my husband doesn't like his to be exactly the same as mine. So I rarely use this. But these are amazing because they're single serve cups for smoothies, for whatever you really need them for. Um, and so it's just much less cleanup, takes up less room either in your sink or your dishwasher. This is so, so powerful. I've had this for, I believe I bought this in like, January or February of 2021, and this thing is still sharp. So I love this. I use this on a regular basis. I absolutely um, enjoy how easy it is to clean, and it does come with some options. You can get a different like lid for this to actually just stick a straw in, so you can drink straight from this cup, but I don't know. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but you have probably heard me sing this Ninja Blender's praises. Um, I just really like how easy it is to use and clean and it doesn't have like a ton of bells and whistles. Like it's just, it's a blender. It has a couple settings. That's all you really need. One thing I will mention that I don't have with me because it is heavy and plugged in is my Ninja coffee pot. Now Ninja is obviously a great brand. Um, I asked was maybe two months ago, three months ago at this point, what was like y'all's number one recommended coffee pot. Um, just cause we had kind of gone back and forth about changing them and whether or not we wanted to continue to do the style coffee we were using and across the board, so many people were like this Ninja coffee pot, this Ninja coffee pot, this Ninja coffee pot. And then there were a few people who were like, it doesn't matter what kind, just as long as you get a Ninja brand, it's going to be really good. And I completely agree. Now the one that we have does come with a frother on its own. It is very, very powerful. I like that this coffee pot has the adjustment where you you can put the um, water reservoir on the side or the back. And I also like that you can do like a classic roast, rich over ice, or like a specialty, which would be like your K-cups. Um, so it has K-cup compatibility. It's really nice. The only difference is I do not see the thermal carafe anywhere. 
anymore. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if, like, we got lucky and got, like, the last bit of them. Um, now I kind of see the glass ones, so a lot of them do have that, like, hot plate at the bottom. Ours does not have that, so if I can find the exact one, I will absolutely link it, but I have not been able to find it since, like, two weeks after we bought it. So, um, I, and if I find it from a different place, I'll link it below for y'all, but I have just been so impressed with that coffee pot, and it really has me just, like, between my Ninja Foodie, my Ninja Blender, my Ninja this, Ninja that, like, Ninja's a really great kitchen brand, and something that you can use kind of across the board and you know it's gonna just last. Now this is one I will definitely tell you is most used in my kitchen, but I will say it's maybe not necessary in your kitchen depending on how you use it. So this is a chicken shredder. This can shred the thickest of chicken breasts that are cooked. You do have to have the chicken breast cooked before you put it in here. You can't do raw, but I mean, these little suckers are so sharp. You have to really be careful, but you literally just open this, put your chicken breast on there, put the lid on, and then you twist just a few times. I mean, I'm talking less than 10 seconds and your chicken is going to be perfectly shredded. That's something that I really like to do because I've been really into like wraps and like chicken bowls and stuff lately. And that this just makes it like really, really fast. But I do have to say, like, if you're cooking your chicken in your air fryer, your slow cooker or something like that, just stick the, like, hand mixer right down in there and shred it that way. Um, I just find that, like, baked chicken specifically, if you remove it from the oven, again, not in the air fryer, slow cooker, anything like that, if you remove it from the oven, then you have to, like, put it in a bowl and then get out the hand mixer, and it just isn't as easy to do that way. So specifically, like, cooked or baked chicken, that's what I use this for. And that's how I cooked our chicken, like, 99% of the time, which is why I think this is best. But again, like, if you are always the person who just, like, cooks your chicken in a slow cooker or something, don't worry about this. And also, don't pull it out and stick it on a cutting board and, like, manually do it. There are much quicker ways, but this is just definitely one that I use a lot, um, and I absolutely love. It's really affordable, and it will shred your chicken so, so fast. While we're still talking, like, sharper things, I will go ahead and say this goes out of stock all the time, and it makes me so mad because I want to share this with everyone. I want to talk about it all the time. If you see it in stock, definitely grab it. It comes in two colors. Um, the black and rose gold is, well, maybe, I don't know if it's not rose gold, but that's what I refer to this as. It looks very rose gold on my counter. Um, and they also have a white and rose gold. But what I love about this is it does come with the knives and the stand itself. But like, I'm just someone who it did not matter how long I had a knife block. Like I always was like pulling them out to see what kind of knives they were so I really like that you can see it in here um, and then also the uh, smallest one is in the dishwasher right now because we love these knives we use them all the time they are super super sharp but I don't know maybe you don't want your knives displayed on your counter I definitely love it so this has been a favorite of mine and it does like that's just, the wobbly sound is like not uh, the knives itself it's like the plastic they're hitting against the plastic in here so it is like a plastic material but Man, I love that. It comes in two colors. I really kicked myself for not getting that earlier. And then also this. So random. I've never been someone who genuinely loved pizza cutters because when I was little, I was using a pizza cutter and I was like just pressing down really hard and I slipped and like it, it cut my finger. So I like that this one specifically has like such a good grip on it. It also has a cover so it's very very safe and um, very easy to take apart, wash, put back together. But I just like that you can really get a good grip on this. There's no, I've not cut myself ever using these which you'd think it would be pretty foolproof but I was just young and using a regular pizza cutter that was like wobbly. So I really like these. My son really likes um, like pizzas on little tortilla shells or just like that's something that we make him frequently for lunch because it's just one of his favorites. Like we know he's going to eat it. So I really like this and, you know, just always being able to cut your pizza. Just really nice, very random, something that we use a lot here. And this, I probably should have mentioned this first because this is hands down one of the best kitchen products of all time and it has a few different so it's called like the vegetable all-in-one cutter let me actually go ahead and read out the title to you guys because it's one of those that has like a long name 
and I want to make sure I get them all. So it's the all-in-one vegetable chopper, mandolin slicer, and cheese grater. It has a multi-blade, it says French fry cutter, and then it shows like a picture of a potato because it has like really wide um, settings on there. Vegetable dicer, it includes a bonus handheld spiralizer. It has 4.6, four and a half star reviews, and that is 19 thousand reviews so really really positive but it has a lot of different like little pieces to it and one thing that I did not think of so when I am making my um, quinoa and cucumber salads I have the recipe up on my Instagram it's so yummy and fresh I prefer to prep all of that stuff separately put it in containers in the fridge and then combine it together when I'm about to eat it I just think that's when it tastes the best if you mix it together ahead of time. It just doesn't taste the same. So this actually cut down on the time for that significantly. However, what I saw a girl do the other day and I never even would have thought about it. So she had her regular, this is just um, one of the like open stands. There's actually a separate piece that goes in here. It's also in the dishwasher. What she did was she had the regular little compartment underneath here. And then you can see I have the smallest blade. That's just my personal preference. You can really cut your stuff like custom to what you want. It's very easy to change these out. Um, there is a little lock to them, which is really nice. This little piece right here. So like when I, you know, hold it over. As long as that's locked, you're good to go. But I like this one. And what she was doing was she basically would put her cucumber on. And then she would, you do kind of sometimes like it maybe like this. And you have to really use your hand to make it work. But she put her cucumber on there. And then she didn't take anything out of the bottom. She put her onion on there put her tomatoes on there. And she actually was like mixing all of it in the bottom compartment and pulled it out. And her salad was ready in like five seconds. And I was like, why have I not been doing that? And I guess it's just cause I'm used to doing it kind of one way. So multiple ways to prep your food. You can prep it all in the same compartment together and store it. You can prep it like right when you're ready to make it or you can prep it all separately, but it has a lot of different compartments and pieces. And this is just like one of those things that Every single time I see someone mention, they mention how much they love this. These are super random and they come with a smaller option. Guess where it is? The dishwasher. I'm telling y'all, like I wanted to share my all time kitchen favorites and this is it. Like I use this stuff all the time. I used the smallest one this morning. I would say it's just a couple inches smaller than this to cut some strawberries on with the smallest knife in here. So these are something I just thought were average cutting boards. We have other cutting boards in our house that we like. But my husband and I, time and time and time again, are just reaching for these because they come in three separate sizes, which is really nice, but also they're dishwasher safe. They're easy to clean. I mean, they don't tear up easy at all. We have had these for a hot minute and they still, like you can barely see cut marks in some of them. I mean, they just have lasted so nicely. They have handles, they're lightweight. I mean, they're just these really nice, simple cutting boards. And we find ourselves just reaching for these more and more versus like some of the other ones in our kitchen. So I like that we have multiple size options because like if I was to cut strawberries, just like a couple, I don't need this, you know? So I do like the multiple sizes, but those are just that random thing that like, if I was to, like if something was to happen to those right now, I would get online and I would buy a whole new set. Like I absolutely love them, but we've had them for so long and they are not even sort of damaged. And then I have two glasses for y'all. So. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, y'all know I'm kind of a cup person, but I'm seeing just across the board and it's just so unnecessary that I'm obsessed with them. If you go on TikTok, like wine glasses, fancy little two packs of just glass cups. Like I love all of the fun glasses that I'm seeing all over Amazon lately. And we just don't have room for them here. Like I wanna get a multi-pack. There's this like gorgeous multi-pack of wine glasses. I'll link it below for y'all. It is literally on my wish list. As soon as we know when we're moving, I am buying it. I'm literally pregnant, can't even drink wine, but I want it because I just love them so much. And I have become just a, a glasses person and it's only gonna get worse, so get used to it. But these I have mentioned with you guys here before because they're just really good. Oftentimes, 
when I make a smoothie in this, I will then transfer it to this. It's great for iced coffee. Um, I will say that this is not a spill proof lid. Um, it's very easy to, you know, it comes off very easy, but just like the hole in there, don't think it's spill proof or anything, but I just find this is a very aesthetically pleasing and beautiful glass um, that we use a lot. I think they came in a four pack. It also comes with straws. I think that they are straight straws, but I prefer the bent. Um, it comes with like something to clean the straws with. It's just a really nice nice little pack for um, like smoothies and stuff like that and so I prefer to use these that do have the lid whenever I'm doing iced coffee or smoothies versus just like a regular drink where I would use a regular glass and then I have mentioned these before but these are just really great I wish they were a little bit bigger um, this is about how much coffee I can have now pregnant a day but my husband really likes these too and again just agrees like they do make bigger sizes but I wish that they were just like a smidge bigger because these are like a double wall coffee mug the bottom of these I mean these are like heavy duty and that's really nice because they don't tip over easy but also these I find even if you put something cold in here it doesn't like get those um, water beads on it and get water everywhere like these are just very very nice glasses so like even the bottom yes it does get hot but we've never noticed like a ring or anything on our furniture of course still use a um, coaster any chance you get but I just find that like the bottom of these is really really nice at keeping um, kind of that hot or cold from transferring to your furniture but very heavy very fancy I do wish they were a smidge bigger but that's just these and again I will probably buy more coffee mugs that I don't need when we move and it's just it really is a problem that I'm not even a little bit sorry for <laughs> so that is it for today's video clearly all things I use um, on a regular basis but honestly I could make an entire series on things that I like know we're going to be using in the new house um, even like organization for the kitchen but I wanted to just talk about like not necessarily gadgets, but just things that are like must-haves in the Robinson kitchen. So like I said, everything is going to be linked in the description bar below for y'all to shop. So check it out down there. Love y'all so much and I'll see you next time. <laughs>